Good morning, Britain. More than 3,000 Toys R Us staff face the sack before Christmas as the, the country's biggest toy store faces collapse. I'm track 501. Emergency. 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 We are on the ground. The moment a high-speed commuter train derailed while crossing a highway bridge in Washington state, killing at least three and leaving dozens injured. We're live at the scene with the latest throughout the morning. Overnight, the Royal Navy have confirmed that their new three billion pound aircraft carrier, HMS Queen Elizabeth, has a major leak with 200 litres of seawater pouring into the ship every hour. 100 metre world champion Justin Gatlin is embroiled in yet another doping scandal as his former coach and an agent are accused of offering to supply illegal drugs. He, of course, himself was banned twice. And why Twitter is facing accusations of stifling free speech by censoring so-called hate speech. Tuesday, 19th of December, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid. Good morning, Britain. Just gone six o'clock uh, on a Tuesday in Christmas week, prompting the question, <laughs> what are we doing here? Well, what are you doing here? I don't know. What's happened with the Twitter poll, which said, should Piers Morgan be sacked? Mm. Uh, I can't oh, read, because my eyes are so bad. 57% say, yes, he should be. Yeah. OK, well, this is a big test for you, isn't it, Britain? Because, um, you know, it's a bit like with Brexit. You know, you think it's a good idea, you vote for it, and then... <laughs> you know, buyer's remorse sets in, <laughs> because I've only got one day left under this, uh, if this carries on, oh, yeah. I'll be gone. <gasps> the last you'll ever see of me, and you'll be reduced to, <laughs> well, no offence, but these three. <laughs> what do you um, mean? <laughs> reduced to? Nothing wrong with that uh, at all. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Um, but anyway, so you've got, come on, Britain, turn it around. Let's just keep the vote open. Is it 15 <clears> minutes <throat> Rather like with Brexit, vote? let's just pretend it didn't happen and then have another poll. Yeah. So let's just carry it on and pretend it didn't happen. And let's point out the really damaging downside to me not being here. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Tumbleweed. Yeah, what is it? Uh, anyway, well, the poll will keep running. Should I be sacked before Christmas? I can't actually believe that even Good Morning Britain viewers would be so heartless. Come You've on. got 15 minutes to save... No, no, we're keeping Piers open. Piers Morgan open. on Good Morning Britain. <clears throat> on a positive note, actually, I'm not even sure it is a positive note, but um, Kim Kardashian, uh, always thinking about me. Always. <clears throat> and we have the proof. This is a little te teaser for her. Uh, keeping up with this program, in which they were going to go through interview training, media training, and Kim immediately knew exactly what she needed. Watch. Oh, I can't wait for them to do it. Okay, bones down, ladies. Let's pretend that this is... You're Megyn Kelly. We're, we're on a Megyn and Kelly. And here's Morgan. So the Hollywood reporter we, has called yeah. it... We need to go back. Let's have that again. It's Kim that says my name. No, it's weird, right? I'm not quite sure, actually. I'm I not, can't wait for them to do it. Okay, phones down, ladies. Let's pretend that this is... You're Megyn Kelly. We're, we're on a Megyn and, and Kelly. here's Morgan. So the Hollywood oh, reporter... Oh, I know. Oh, oh. Here's Morgan. Blink and you Morgan. missed it. Yeah, I didn't hear it. <laughs> she sounds almost <laughs> from like she's it. from Belfast, doesn't she? Pete Morgan. Um, <laughs> but it's weird, isn't it, that I haven't even been doing interviews on American television for uh, three years now, and yet still, still, so lurking in her brain. Do you it's watch me. every episode of Keeping Up the with the Kardashians? No, I just, just in case you get, <laughs> no, I really in case does. you get a that, very brief mention. No, that that uh, what well, you certainly weren't mentioned, and you love them. That's got to really hurt. Uh, uh, we anyway, we have. Well, it's we Good have, Morning Britain, not Good Morning. <clears> America. We have some of the uh, we have some of the questions to see whether the interview did indeed live up to me. So the Hollywood Reporter has called it the Kardashian decade. How a sex tape led to a billion dollar brand. What do you guys attribute to this longevity? Why are people so fascinated by you guys 10 years later? After the life of the show, whenever that is, does this still hold together? I think that the show is a wonderful foundation for everything else that we do. Chris, looking back, were there signs that Bruce at the time wanted to become a woman? Did you turn a blind eye? You see, oh. my problem with that is, my problem with that is, the Megyn Kelly one, Megyn Kelly is quite a tough interview in America, um, and she gives them quite a grilling. The bloke, it's, it's just pathetic, it's like a weed, <laughs> like, a, like a limpet, right? So he didn't take the directive, did he? No. Or, or he, he couldn't be me. That's me and Megyn Kelly. And no. Completely pointless piece of back video, but anyway, she looks lovely. <laughs> uh, that was when she was at Fox, she's now at NBC, none of this means anything to our viewers, but uh, you know what, rather enjoying my lighting there. <laughs> Oh, I don't give them that slot. 
Um, um, 11 minutes anyway, my, here's my to point. vote in should Piers <laughs> Morgan be sacked. Here's the, key, the, key, the key point is that Kim Kardashian, despite all the criticism I give her, uh, I'm still the first person she thinks of. When, when she thinks to... of a really annoying yeah. interviewer. Mm. Any more bits of archive you want to pull up before we get on with the show? <laughs> um, oh, don't ask him do you know that! Turning, no. Do you know what it's turning into? And I'm just beginning to realise. Good Morgan it's, Britain. No, it's an in-memoriam tape. They know I'm leaving. Oh. And they're playing the Actually, old let, clips. Yeah, let, let's play a few more then. It's quite worrying. Yeah, they're playing the old <laughs> clips, aren't they? Alex, why mm. have you come in your um, Christmas sweater? jumper? You're in jeans. I've got jeans and trainers on. Is this Why? because it's the because end and, of and also, the show and, and you also, need, I've got, need to actually, dress you can't up. see it, but I've actually got my long johns and thermals on because I'm actually going to be going up onto the roof. Right. Because it's cold and also it's foggy. Uh, yes, oh, it's really? a murky old start to the day. In fact, the Met Office have got a number of weather warnings in place across much of England and also parts of Wales. In places, visibility uh, is down to around 100 metres. Uh, there could be some delays at the airports as well. And also, it is a very cold start today across the south. So let's take a look at some graphics, actually. You can see uh, here we've got uh, temperatures down. Well, this is the uh, fog warning area. So you can see quite a large area of uh, southern parts of England and parts of Wales. And then uh, we've got a very cold start. So there'll be some freezing fog in places. So minus three across the south at the moment. But look at Scotland there. They've got a warm weather front moving at the moment. Yeah, temperatures 15. 15? Yeah. Balmy. Minus Balmy. three down here and 15 yeah. in Scotland. That's a, that's a change, isn't it? How extraordinary. Yeah. I didn't think it was ever like that in Scotland. Oh, I didn't think even in midsummer it got to 15. <laughs> Oh, well done, Scotland. Um, so you're off to the roof? Yeah, so I'm going to be uh, heading off to the roof in a second. Is there any reason yeah, why you dress down, though, in this slovenly way for the roof? I mean, why would because suddenly it I be less important warm. for you to put a front on for the show? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I would go in a full suit and a proper coat and, you know, appropriate head attire. I dread to think what oh, that's, that's kind of... Oh, that's waiting in the wings. That's waiting in the wings. Have you got your bobble hat? I've, I've got, got a bobble hat, oh, actually. I can't even yeah. bear to think about it. Right, go off you go. Just because you can't wear one. Yeah. We <laughs> We will see you in a few moments. <laughs> you will. <laughs> um, seven minutes past six, so let's get 